the 13 now. They work on first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. A.J. Klein. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they work this out past the 25. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. They were backed up to start the drive. But how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And it's complete to Adams. 20-10. Touchdown, Packers. Well, Devontae Adams, he's a great volume receiver. Here, he's able to do some pretty nifty work after the catch. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0, Packers. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. It's caught by Sanders. Sanders has the first down and much more. And finally brought down at the 43. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set them up first and goal. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run for Devin Singletary. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got it. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. 
And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw once more on second and ten. Rodgers. This is Lazard with a catch out left. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. A check down here to Jones. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. Rodgers again now. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Now a first down carry by Jones. Wiggles free. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards there and a first down. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Throw to the right. He's got the tight end here, Sternberger. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine yards, and it'll be second and about a yard. Rodgers going to give this one to Dillon. He can't get him down, and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles, and his feet never stop moving. Back to Dillon on first down. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Dillon now on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Try the left side with Dillon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A.J. Dillon, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. 
Throwing on first down is Allen. And that is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw again on second down, Allen. He's going to go deep for Beasley. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That one good for 37 yards. To the air, Allen. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And a good display of footwork will only get him just inside the five to the four. That catch good for only a couple. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bills get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run and he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Dancing to his left, and he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Oh, it shifts past him. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Rodgers. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. Underneath here to Hill. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. These two teams going through their final adjustments. It's about time for the second half in Green Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Right back to Singletary on second down. And some room to roam now. And now off to the races down the right side. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary is certainly capable of breaking off some big runs, and he got loose on a big one there. And that's his second touchdown run of this game, and this one had a high degree of difficulty to it as well. I'm absolutely marveling at how effortless he makes this look. I mean, let's face it, he had a long way to go. But how about the vision, the creativity with the football in his hands? It's really something to watch. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. Oh. 
after the touchdown pass to kick it away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. On right, second down, another run for Dillon. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. Oh, that was it. way too easy. Look Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On right, second down, another run for Dylan. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like them. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it often. Back now at Lambeau. So first and 10 now from the 30. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. A gain of six there on first. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Call it a loss of 12 that time. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the hook up with Diggs. 
And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Singletary, and he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, one able to complete it anyway. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They run again with Dillon. Fights loose. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Dillon, they try the left side with him. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. To the right side, this is Dillon. Nice satisfying run up first. for the offense picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Oh, he fakes a spike. Slant to Adams. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 44-yard line. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. Well, the fake spike becoming a little bit more prevalent in today's game. It worked there. Those old days of brother-in-law in that play, you know, where you kind of know what they're doing. They're going to, you know, spike the ball and the play's dead. And everyone just kind of relaxes. Those are gone, aren't they? Because now they're faking it and completing passes downfield. They make you look bad, and they hurt you in the yardage category, too brother in law Yeah, you know, we kind of do it together. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. 